Elisha was a very beautiful girl, recently married in a joint family with her husband and in-laws. Elisha was liberal, with a modern lifestyle. Whereas her mother-in-law was conservative, she realized that she and her conservative mother-in-law had very different lifestyles. Soon, they both started quarreling due to differences in opinions and lifestyle. As days and months passed, none of them changed their behavior. Every day, there were fights between them for petty issues. This made Elisha very aggressive over time, and she started hating her mother-in-law. She started thinking about getting rid of her mother-in-law, as even her husband always took his mother's side. This made her more annoyed, and finally she left for her father's home. Elisha's father was a chemist, and she told him, Father, my mother-in-law is very bad. She is always looking for ways to abuse and torture me. She is never satisfied with any of my work and always tries to find faults in whatever I do. Because her, even my relationship with my husband is getting sore. I'm totally fed up with her, and I really want to get rid of her from my life. I request you to please give me some poison, which I can mix in food and give it to my mother-in-law, and get rid of her soon, else I won't go back to my husband's house. Elisha's father was a wise man. He felt pity for her situation, but told her, Listen, if you give poison to your mother-in-law, you and I both will end up in jail. It is not the right thing to do. But Elisha was in no mood to listen and understand. Finally, her father gave in. He told her, Okay, as you wish, but I don't want to see you in jail. So do as I tell you. Alicia agreed to this. Her father went inside his room, brought a pouch filled with some powder, and told her, Every day when you make lunch or dinner, just mix a little pinch of this powder in your mother-in-law's meal. Since the quantity will be less, she won't die instantly, but slowly will. Months. This is a very strong poison. It will destroy her body organs slowly. And everyone will think she has died naturally. Her father continued. But mind it, you have to act smart. From today onwards, you won't argue about anything or won't fight at all with your mother-in-law. But instead, you will be very caring towards her. Even if she says something bad which you don't like, you will not be rude. You will simply be polite on every matter. By doing this, no one will ever doubt you. And your mission will be accomplished. Alicia agreed with this, thinking that she would be free from her mother-in-law's day. Today quarrels in a few months. The next day, she returned back to her in-laws. And as advised by her father, she was now a completely changed woman. The first thing she did was, she went straight to her mother-in-law and said, Mom, I am really sorry to hurt you. I was always wrong and unnecessarily fought with you over petty issues. But now I have realized that you were always right. Please forgive me for hurting your feelings and allow me one more chance to serve you better. Elisha's mother-in-law was speechless. She was shocked to see Elisha's sudden change in nature, but she was happy that her daughter-in-law had finally gained some knowledge and respect for her. Here, Elisha started mixing the powder in her mother-in-law's meals every day and behaved very caring and polite, even when her mother-in-law said something to her. As time passed, Elisha's mother-in-law's nature also started to change. Since Elisha was very caring towards her, she too started to be affectionate towards her. Five months passed, and Elisha had been mixing the powder in her mother-in-law's food. But the atmosphere of the house had changed. There were no quarrels. Both were praising each other. They got very attached to each other like a mother and daughter. Now, Elisha started worrying, thinking that due to the poisonous powder, her mother-in-law may die soon. She ran to her father's home and told him, Dad. Please give me the antidote to cure the effect of that poisonous powder you gave me. I don't want to lose my mother-in-law anymore. She is just like my mom, and now I love her very much. Listening to this, her father smiled and said, Poison? Which poison? 
Actually, the powder which I gave you is not poisonous at all. I had simply given you sugar powder, a sweetener. No father in this world will make the mistake of spoiling this mother-daughter relationship. All I wanted was a sweet relationship between both of you. So this was the idea to make your relationship sweeter. Forever! You see in your life, we are all unique individuals, shaped by our own unique circumstances. This can lead to differences in our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. While these differences can sometimes cause friction, it is important to remember that we are all human beings with shared values and goals. In the above story, Alicia had been so consumed by hatred that she had blinded herself to the love that was right in front of her. But later, she realized that her mother-in-law was not the enemy she had thought she was. In fact, she was the closest person she had in the world. So, we should strive to understand each other and make adjustments where necessary to build healthy and supportive relationships. When differences do arise, our loved ones can play a vital role in helping us to resolve them peacefully and constructively. This is Just Do It Motivation. Thanks for watching and stay motivated.